Hello, everyone. My name is Lim Wee Ching, and I am delighted to be here today representing Johor Matriculation College. I am excited to share with you my innovation project, which focuses on a technique called the Length Times Width Technique, empowering students in mastering integral formulas for the area between two curves. The Length Times Width Technique is an innovative approach developed to assist secondary and matriculation students in forming integration formulas for calculating the area between two curves. This technique draws inspiration from the concept of rectangular area, specifically the product of length LE, and width WI, and adapts it to the realm of integration. By providing a relatable framework, it simplifies the integration process, enhances student understanding, and fosters critical thinking skills through a well-integrated approach using video and online learning tools such as MyViewsBoard, Desmos Graphing, and Surveys Heart. The application of this innovative approach has the potential to transform integration education and improve students' mathematical proficiency. Education in the 21st century is more challenging and able to produce students who are creative and innovative, able to solve problems and think critically. In the realm of mathematics, forming integral formulas for calculating the area between two curves has often proven to be a challenging task for students. Through my project, I aim to address this issue by introducing the length times width technique, a groundbreaking approach that revolutionizes the way students approach and understand integral formulas in this context. Well, what is length times width technique? The length times width technique is a teaching and learning approach based on information and communication technology ICT, specially designed to assist lecturers and students in writing integral formula for calculating the area between two curves. One of the challenges observed through reflection on teaching and learning experiences is that students often encounter confusion when it comes to forming integral formulas. When students are tasked with calculating the area between two curves using integration, they may struggle to construct the integral formula required for the calculation properly. This confusion can arise due to the need to identify the correct upper and lower curves and determine the appropriate limits of integration. In the student's work, two significant mistakes have been identified. There are negative values of the calculated area and inaccurate area calculations. Firstly, the occurrence of negative values for the calculated area is a common error that students may encounter. This issue often arises due to inaccuracies in determining the correct upper and lower curves when setting up the integral formula. If the curves are not identified correctly or if the limits of integration are reversed, it can lead to the integration yielding a negative value, which does not represent the actual area. Secondly, inaccurate area calculations are another prevalent mistake observed among students. This can stem from errors in setting up the integral formula, choosing the integrands, or evaluating the integral. Addressing these mistakes is crucial to ensure the integrity and correctness of the area calculations between curves. By providing students with clear guidelines and techniques, such as the length times width technique, we can help them avoid these errors and improve the accuracy of their area calculations. The negative responses expressed by the students, such as not knowing how to write the integral formula, lacking knowledge on finding the area between two curves, or consistently obtaining negative area values, highlight further challenges and misconceptions that need to be addressed in their learning process. These responses reflect common difficulties students face when working with integration forming integral formulas for calculating the area between curves. The primary objective of this project is to improve students' skills in forming integral formulas for accurately calculating the area between two curves. The secondary objective of this project is to cultivate students' interest and engagement in learning the integral of area, specifically in the context of calculating the area between two curves. Traditionally, integrating the area between curves has been a challenging task for students. The length times width technique simplifies this process by relating it to the straightforward notion of calculating the area of a rectangle, that is the product of length and width. This technique introduces a systematic approach that involves identifying the upper and lower curves, establishing the limits of integration, and determining the appropriate integrands with only these three simple steps. Step 1. Locate the Louis block on the shaded region. The block is located vertically if the limit of x boundaries meanwhile it is located horizontally if it takes y boundaries. Remember length is longer than width. 
So, we label the longer side as length and the shorter side as width. Step 2. Determine the function length and width. For the vertical block, we have two functions, there are f of x and g of x, length always be the upper function subtract with the lower function. Therefore, we have length as f of x subtract g of x. The width is the small changes of x, that is dx. For the horizontal block, we have the function f of y and g of y. For the length, we take the right function subtract with the left function, that is f of y subtract the g of y. The width is the small changes of y, that is dysprosium step 3, we write the formula in the integral from. For the vertical block, we have integral formula of length times width, with the function of f of x subtract g of x, integrate with respect to x. For the horizontal block, we have integral formula of length times width, with the function of f of y subtract g of y, integrate with respect to y. Let me illustrate how to apply length times width through real examples. First example. Step 1. Locate the Louis block on the shaded region. Since we use the boundaries at x, axis, x equals minus 1 and x equals 3. So, we locate the Louis block vertically. Step 2. Determine the function length and function width. Based on the block, we notice that the upper function is f of x and the lower function is g of x. So, the length is f of x subtract g of x and the width is the small changes of values x which denoted as dx. Step 3. Write formula area as the integral of length times width and integrate it with respect to x to get the values of area. Next example, step 1, locate the Louis block on the shaded region. Since we use the boundaries at y, axis, y equals minus 1 and y equals 3. So we locate the Louis block horizontally. Step 2. Determine the function length and function width. Based on the block, we notice that the right function is f of y and the left function is g of y. So, the length is f of y subtract g of y and the width is the small changes of values y which denoted as dysprosium step 3, write formula area as the integral of length times width and integrate it with respective to y to get the values of area. This innovation has undergone three improved versions to enhance its flexibility and maximize its effectiveness when delivered to students. Version 1 is a model version constructed using two pieces of polystyrene, fabric, softboard, and LEWI blocks. This version is specifically designed for lecturers conducting tutorial classes and provides a clear visual aid to assist students in forming integral formulas for the area between curves. In early 2020, this innovation was upgraded to version 2 with the integration of technology. In this version, the length times width technique was transformed into a medium of video format, accompanied by worksheets presented as eFlipbooks and eManuals created using the AnyFlip application. This adaptation allowed the length times width technique to be easily shared with students during online learning sessions, particularly in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, through a dedicated YouTube channel. In 2022, our team took a further step in integrating the length times width technique innovation by incorporating the use of MyViewBoard and Desmos graphing applications. This integration allowed us to utilize the LEWI technique innovation effectively during online classes for teaching and learning purposes. As a result, we proudly introduce version 3 of our innovation, which harnesses the power of technology to enhance the educational experience and facilitate seamless integration of the length times width technique into online instruction. The integration of the length times width technique into MyViewBoard brings a new level of convenience and efficiency to the teaching and learning process. One significant advantage of using the length times width technique in MyViewBoard is the enhanced clarity and systematic presentation of the process involved in forming the integral formula for the area between two curves. Lecturers can effectively showcase each step and demonstrate the methodology in a clear and organized manner. This visual and systematic approach fosters a deeper understanding of the subject matter and promotes more effective learning outcomes. Furthermore, the integration of Desmos graphing provides lecturers and students with a powerful tool for sketching various types of graphs in a faster and easier way during online classes. With Desmos graphing, lecturers can effortlessly demonstrate different graph shapes, 
functions, and equations, making it easier for students to visualize and understand the concepts being taught. The intuitive interface and user-friendly features of Desmos Graphing enable students to actively participate in graphing activities, explore different scenarios, and gain a deeper understanding of the relationships between curves. This interactive and dynamic approach enhances the learning experience and promotes active engagement during online classes. Additionally, students have the convenience of rewatching the length times width technique video on our dedicated YouTube channel. This allows them to review the content at their own pace and reinforce their understanding of the integral formula for the area between two curves. Furthermore, to provide students with additional practice opportunities, we have developed online worksheets and online quiz, which are accessible through the Survey Hard app. These resources enable students to engage in drilling and practice exercises, further enhancing their mastery of the technique. Moreover, we value students' feedback and have implemented a user-friendly feedback system. Students can conveniently provide their feedback by scanning the QR code, allowing us to continuously improve and refine the length times width technique based on their input. To validate the effectiveness of length times width technique, we observed the pre-test and post-test distribution score. All the targeted group showed the significant improvement with the implement of length times width technique. The innovation idea has not only made an impact in Johor Matriculation College, but has also been successfully replicated in various other educational institutions. This includes other matriculation colleges, sixth form schools, as well as seminars, conventions and conferences which focused on education and mathematics. The feedbacks from mathematics lecturers were also very encouraging. I have quoted three comments from teacher Aliyah Hassan from PJ Sixth Form College. Madam Kong Khoi Wei from Kedah Matriculation College and Madam Yeo Po Hui from SMK Munshi Abdullah Malaka. Positive feedback from students is a strong indicator to highlight the effectiveness and user satisfaction on the length times width technique which providing a clear vision, understanding engaging and enjoyable learning process. <laughs> Increase my confidence and interest in solving area between curve problems. There are three potential impacts of the innovation. Firstly, high governance. The utilization of video and online learning tools such as my views board, Desmos graphing, and Surveys Heart allows for greater governance in teaching and learning. These tools provide structured materials, online practice opportunities, and assessment options. The combination of these tools saves time for both educators and students, allowing for more focused instruction and accelerated learning progress. Additionally, the zero-fee aspect reduces financial barriers and ensures accessibility for a wider range of students and educational institutions. Secondly, multiple applicability. The length times width technique has the advantage of being applicable to various educational settings, including upper secondary schools, matriculation colleges, sixth form colleges, and basic science program colleges. The versatility of the technique enables educators across different institutions to implement it within their respective curricula. Thirdly, high efficiency. By incorporating video tutorials and online learning tools, the length times width technique streamlines the learning process, leading to higher efficiency. Students can access the materials and practice at their own pace, allowing for personalized and self-directed learning. Throughout the journey of this innovation project, we have been honored and recognized with various prestigious awards and accolades since 2019. These achievements serve as a testament to the impact and significance of this innovation project. In conclusion, the implementation of the length times width technique has proven to be a highly effective and innovative approach to enhance students' skills in forming integral formulas for calculating the area between two curves. This innovation project has successfully transformed the way students approach forming integral, form integral formulas and calculating the area between two curves. By combining technology-enabled learning with a student-centered approach, this project has equipped students with the necessary tools, knowledge, and enthusiasm to excel in integration education.